Good morning to my NFB family. My name is Julie Deaton, and I have had the honor to be the director at the Colorado Center for the Blind now for 21 years. I can't believe that it has been 21 years. This year is so different from any other year that we've had. Normally, at convention, you'd be meeting our students at meetings, having breakfast with them, or meeting them in the bar. This year, we decided that it would be fun for you to really get to know our students. And the only way that we could do that was to put together a video so that you can meet our students in our new virtual world. In January, we opened up, like we always do, right after our Christmas break, for our staff in service. I still remember the day so clearly. Our whole staff, along with some of our board members, were crowded together in our large conference room. We had such a productive day. One of the things that we had that day was first aid training. I know that everybody got so much from that day. We had all kinds of goals set out for the year 2020. In February, three teenagers earned scholarships to attend Washington Seminar. So we flew off with them together and spent time with them, not only going to congressional offices, senators' offices, having them get to talk with them, but we also rode the Metro, went out for meals. We had a grand time and they learned from positive blind role models. On March 13th, our student Christian graduated from the center. He had worked really hard. His family had driven here from Nevada and they were so proud of him as we all were. We were all crying in his graduation because he came such a long way while he was with us at the center. That is the last face-to-face -face graduation that we've had where we've all eaten together in the large meeting room and where he got to stand right next to me and ring his freedom bell. Take charge with confidence, Colorado Center for the Blind 2020. Congratulations, Christian. Thank you. On Monday, March 16th, we met with all of the students at announcements, and I had to tell them we needed to begin having classes at their apartments. Things were not looking good, and we couldn't continue our face-to-face -face learning. A few days later, we made the decision to fly many of our students home. Now I'd like to share with you a sample of some virtual learning that took place. We had seven students in our apartments for over two months. David Neatfelt is an extremely creative instructor. So here you will see him giving everybody a lesson at our apartments on how to put back together a pea trap. So the first thing I want I'm you here. guys to do is take your bucket or pot or bowl, whatever it is, and put it underneath the uh, the drain from your sink. So your drain, remember your drain comes down and then it has that U shape at the bottom. You want to kind of angle it so you can go underneath that U shape. Everybody's in their bathroom, right? Yeah. Yes. All right. Everybody that can be, it sounds like. I'm even in mine, huh? Excellent. <laughs> All right. So now that everybody's set up, what you want to do is there should be two places that can turn. One should yes. be closest to you, and the other one should be a little ways further back. Ooh. Oh. David, this is splashing all over the place. <laughs> Every time I twist it. Well, yeah, that probably means you have more of a clog than other people. Oh. Ooh. Right, how do you lose your lefty? 
So are you happy you put the bucket under there first? Also, don't Oop. turn on the faucet. Yeah, the water will no. come right out. In, in June. I am so excited. We decided with all the work with our board, things were loosening up a bit. We put together a safety protocol and I really want to thank our board of directors and so many other people for all of their support. We started back slowly with just a few students and then we built from here. We currently have 20 students here at the Colorado Center. One of the things we do each day is check our students in. And that's something that I love more than you can ever imagine. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How about your night? Good. How was your weekend? Look, excellent. Yeah. Well, the students are always so good. excited. <laughs> Next, I'd like you to meet the students at the Colorado Center for the Blind. The students are the heart of our center. Without our students, of course, we wouldn't have our center. And I have to tell all of you, as I think you already know, how much I love our students. Here is a snapshot of the students that were with us the week of October 5th. First of all, there's two students that aren't in the video because they've come in later in October. We have India, who is from California. She recently graduated from high school and she is so excited to be here with us. We also have another student from California, Tom. He had not used a cane at all before he came into the center. I handed him a cane about a week ago, and now today he's running all over the place with his long white cane. Hi, my name is uh, Kwaim Gray. I go by Q uh, as well. I'm from Orlando, Florida, um, and I came to the Colorado Center to get training. Uh, training in Braille, training in tech, travel um, and things of that nature. I've learned a lot in my nine months of being here. Um, a lot of things that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Uh, after I leave the center, I plan on going back to school. Uh, my name is James, I'm from Augusta, Georgia. I've uh, been here for about 10 months uh, next week. Uh, I'm here because I wanted to gain uh, the confidence and skills needed to be a uh, productive person in society. Uh, before I got here, I wasn't using a cane or really did any uh, much of anything. But uh, since being here, I feel like I, um, I've gained independence for sure. Hi, my name is Will Lewis and I'm from Colorado. Um, I go by Louie. And I came to the program so I can learn independence, so I can actually live on my own. I don't like to depend on people for everything. I like to do things on my own, figure it out and explore. Okay, Colin? I have been here uh, since June 8th, practically seven days after the school has been opened. And I also want to say that this experience has been wonderful. Admittedly, it was a little overwhelming for us, for me, well, technically, it's a little overwhelming for us all when we first come here. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, once you figure out the sleep shades, it takes... Uh, it took me about a couple of weeks to figure everything out and where everything was. And I'm really glad I came here. Hi, um, my name is Laura Martinez, and I am originally from um, Orange County, California. Um, I came to Colorado when I was 11. Um, me, um, coming to the center was kind of a big challenge for me, um, on the emotional side of things. Um, it's going pretty good. Um, uh, I've learned to cook. I've never cooked for myself before, and it's, it's been amazing to learn. Um, I've made tacos, um, and I've also made, um, Meatloaf, and I went home this weekend and I made uh, meatloaf for my family, and it was pretty, they all loved it. 
Hi, my name is uh, Jacob Allmeyer. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I've been here for about three months. Um, I came here to then go get my associate's degree and then get my bachelor's degree in sports business because I want to be a sports agent. And I've learned a lot being here. Um, before I came here, I never used a cane. And now I'm pretty proficient with it and got really comfortable using a cane. And yeah, my main goal was to get all the skills I need to be independent and go to college on my own. Hello, my name is Alice. I'm from Arizona. I've been here for just about three months. My goals here are to learn as much as I can and learn all the skills so I can apply them independently. It's going pretty well. I am doing a lot and I appreciate all the help that the teachers give me. I'd like to obtain a job, possibly in the medical field. Hi, my name is Madison. Um, people also call me Maddie. I was born and raised here in Denver, Colorado. Heading right into the ITP program straight out of high school was a huge leap for me, considering I never went to high school for the last days, senior pranks, prom, anything like that, we weren't able to. So it definitely is a nice change. Uh, hello, my name is Craig Gonzalez, and I am from Houston, Texas. Um, this is my first month here at, at the center. Um, I chose to go to the center because I wanted to get my confidence back. It was my wife and I, our, our first child, and um, her name's Poppy, and um, that was really, really hard, but um, I've had a lot of encouragement from Ju um, Julie and Norma Crosby on um, just returning and the, the father I could be for her, uh, an independent and confident father. And that's also really a driving force behind my decision to come here. Hi, my name is Matt Simmons. I'm from San Francisco. Um, and my goals for this program are to learn the skills for college and be independent and learn how to use the cane and get more proficient with Braille so that I'm able to be prepared for college. So at college, I want to study business, so I'm thinking something maybe in business, but I'm not exactly sure like what kind of job I'd want yet. Hi, my name is Sky Chopin. I go by Sky. Um, I've been here for at least a month. I have to be independent. Don't have to rely on someone um, teaching me how to do things and and I came here so I can cook, learn how to cook, and provide for myself. Hello, I'm Evan. I'm from North Glen, Colorado. I've been here at the center as a student for about four-ish weeks. I literally have just graduated high school and I knew that I didn't have the confidence and skills that I needed, so I felt like I'd be able to get them here. I have plans. I would like to get some form of a degree and um, work in IT. I've been with the center for years, um, ever since I was about six years old. So, you know, they've known me for quite a while. I've done many of their programs, including Confidence Camp and Bell Camp, and I did the middle school program back in 2014, so I'm definitely quite familiar with this Colorado Center. My name is Katie Carmack. I'm from Glendale, Arizona, and I've been here a week and a half. Uh, my decision to come to Colorado, I wasn't initially considering residential, but the three schools in Arizona all had primarily Zoom, and that's not really the way I learn. So I made the decision to come to Colorado I also like the aspect of the challenge, recreation, the tactile art, martial arts. The Colorado uh, program had quite a bit more of kind of the holistic approach that I liked and was looking forward to. And as far as what happens after, I'm, I'm leaving that open right now. I'm on a hiatus from working while I learn how to use the tech piece uh, in Braille in order to fold that into my employment. My background is social work, so I was working in hospice, so working with death and dying. I'm Eileen Marsteller, and I have been here about a week, and yes, it was definitely overwhelming my first days here, but um, I'm actually starting to get used to the sleep shades. I can get around on the 
basement around down there but I still haven't figured out the upstairs so um, I'm still getting lost but I am really excited because I can actually see the progress that I'm making and I've only been here a week. I am Tony Maldonado. I am originally from uh, Colorado Springs, Colorado and I've been here for a grand total of about 12 hours. So um, the kind of like catalyst for the decision to come up was um, I've been kind of grinding it out uh, for three years at a small like locally owned pizza joint and that just was not working. Um, like it just kept getting harder and harder the longer I stayed there and I realized like if I want to achieve the end goal of opening up my own restaurant, I need to get actual training and actual skills. Uh, so yeah, here I am. A little overwhelming, a little overwhelming. We're slowly coming along though, so we'll, we'll get there. You know, there's obviously been a lot of downside with the coronavirus and, and the mandatory masks and the social distancing. But one thing that is true is that the center is unstoppable. We have pushed forward. We have done it safely. We have done it in a reasonable manner. But the fact is, is that we are family. And to see a family member gain so much, there's no better reward. <laughs>